Tavis Ormandy, our favorite security researcher and p penetration tester at Google, uh, apparently does some of his best thinking in the shower. On 12.20 in the afternoon, last Saturday, March 25th, he tweeted, apparently shortly after toweling himself off, he said, aha, I had an epiphany in the shower this morning and realized how to get code execution in LastPass 4.1.43. Full report and exploit on the way. So, okay, so the version four of, oh, and by the way, this is uh, Chrome and Firefox. The mo it's the most recent version of the browser extension for LastPass. Um, the three version, they are in the process of deprecating. And I would imagine most LastPass users would have already moved to, to four and be current. Um, LastPass responded by 5 p.m. on Saturday. So they were paying attention. Our team is currently investigating a new report by Tavis Ormandy and will update our community when we have more details. And then Monday, yesterday, they put up a formal blog posting saying over the weekend, Google researcher Tavis Ormandy reported a new client side vulnerability in the last pass browser extension. We are now actively addressing the vulnerability. This attack is unique and highly sophisticated. We, oh, and I should, I'll just interject here that Tavis has since said there, that is, there is a fundamental architectural problem that is apparently like, this is not a, a buffer overrun where you go, oops, we forgot to check for null or the length of a buffer. This is something apparently very sophisticated, but also that's going to require some re-engineering. Tavis has given them 90 days and said, don't rush this because, first of all, no one's providing any additional information. Nobody has any idea what this is. So this is being kept very close, very, very, very close and quiet while LastPass addresses this. And then they continue in their blog post, we don't want to disclose anything specific about the vulnerability or our fix that could reveal anything to less sophisticated than the Tavis, but I, I added that, but nefarious parties. So you can expect a more detailed postmortem once this work is complete. So uh, anyway, so again, this is, this is the kind of thing we want to have happening in our industry. One of the common themes, Jason, that we've developed in the podcast over the last couple of years, really just from looking at the reality of what we keep finding is that though we don't want it to be, security is porous. In last week's podcast, we ran through an enumeration of the, the uh, recent pwn to own competition at the can the the uh, CanSec West conference that was all, also last week, where basically every browser and and OSs and even the uh, uh, the VMware uh, vir uh, virtual machine system was just cut through. Not I mean you know, it was the the ante has been upped a lot. In some cases, it required a chain of 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 individual vulnerabilities in order to leverage that into a full exploit. So it's not like one problem was found. It, it took f five or six all used in sequence in order to make this happen. So it is difficult. But the point was that when, when researchers were incented by sufficient prize money, in this case, a million dollars aggregate for all of the all of the breaches and generally they were getting 25 
fifty, a hundred thousand dollars. Just that in that incentivization incentivization was enough to cause them to look closely enough to find problems. So, so of course, all of those problems were uh, exploited, but then fixed. So, from my standpoint, this is only good that that because we would rather have Tavis find it in the shower <laughs> and have LastPass fix it, it you know, on, on the QT so that we get the update and then every and then LastPass will tell us and Tavis will tell us and we'll figure out what it was that he came up with. But nobody else as, and and we would rather have that happen than for somebody else to figure this out independently and be silently and quietly exploiting this without us knowing. So, you know, the modern model of of security is we need researchers to be permitted to to tear into these products as deeply as they need to to responsibly disclose what they find and then for the the, the party responsible to respond immediately. And what we've seen over and over again, and I, I mean, so yes, unfortunately it is over and over again with LastPass, but, it, but they are always responding within hours. And it's funny because the previous problem that, that Tavis found was resolved within hours of him informing them and he had started his 90-day counter, and it didn't even count down one day before this was fixed. So, you know, that's what we want to see. And we'll have a story that, that we'll be talking about a little bit later on in this podcast about Nest and how they have done just the opposite, how they ignored a report from a researcher after confirming it for four months and just said, eh, you know, uh, okay, we'll get around to it. And then the researcher finally said, okay, sorry, I've, I've given you four months. So I couldn't ask for anything better from LastPass. Um, and uh, I, th th there was a comical tweet that followed this um, that, that someone sent to me saying, we can all agree that Tavis is the problem with InfoSec. And if he just stopped finding bugs constantly – then cybers would be secure. And of course, he was joking because it, it is Tavis continually finding problems in all kinds of different systems, which uh, is increasing their security. And, and somebody else sent me a, a tweet saying, last pass, colon, security done wrong. And of course, that's not what I think. I've, I've got last pass browser extension loaded onto all of my systems. It's what I use. I would rather be using something which is as a consequence of its popularity is being has has a history of being attacked and made more solid as a consequence than some unknown lesser product which no one has bothered to take a close look at because not enough people use it to incentivize anyone to look at it closely. So all this is doing, I mean, th these problems are the consequence of someone looking harder at the, at the product they want to make more secure. Clearly that's Tavis's goal is, is to, to, that's why he's thinking about this in the shower is, is to, to make this the best product he can. And he is.